It's Ronnie. And welcome to A Punched Out Thursday to Die For, where we'll all be using our punches and or our dies to create a layout. Plus, it is also Scrap Timber with the Scrappy Sisters. And the prompt for today is Holiday. So I will be using this picture right here of my great niece and Matter. I have those vintage looking decorations for for the July and then I have a couple of punches that I plan on using and this die set it Nick cute uh, I'm also going to use that really tall alpha and I'm pointing out there the paper that I plan on using uh, that paper pad from craft consortium and then some photo play and I'm going to go ahead and put my little guy together first Now, I'm pretty sure on everything here, I did cut it out twice and layer it in brown. I might have missed something, but I think I have two layers of everything because the Craft Consortium paper is a little on the thin side, and I wanted it pretty sturdy. I was deciding there about should I ink it or not, so I'm going to use Rusty Hinge, and I'm inking all the pieces, I think except for the eyes. Well, I'm going to ink it in a different ink. I am using the rusty hinge on you know, everything else, but these are the eyes, and I'm using uh, Spring Clover, I think it's called, from Close to My Heart. It's an old one, and I cut out the eyes in a really light yellow. I didn't want it very dark because I wanted the variances of shades like the lighter green towards the center, well, a little bit yellow too, and then the darker green on the outside. And I'm going to use my punch and cut, cut, punch. I'm going to punch out the pupils for those two eyes using some black cardstock. And the one I'm using is the 1 8 inch one. I didn't want them very big. And in the, well, you can't see it now, but over there to the right in the photo, it just shows a couple of darker green pieces uh, punched out, well cut out with those two little die cuts there. And I didn't, I didn't care for that. <laughs> I wanted to make his eyes look a little bit more like eyes and have a little more character. So uh, that, that's why I used the ink and the lighter color cardstock. You will see some darker yellow up there, they're the eyes too, however, I'm not going to use them as the eyes. I'm going to use them as lights on the top of the truck. It shows it in the picture, but there were no dies for that. Maybe that's what they intended you to do too, but uh, yeah, there wasn't nothing that was officially them. So yeah, I'm using eyes. I'm... This one piece here, I'm not sure what it was, but I liked it. So I cut it out using most of the blue on that cardstock, the Craft Consortium. It has, it's like it was painted blue and then rusted really bad. And you can see bits of blue here and there. And I'm going to use it for the bumper and I'm going to put it on the crooked side. I don't want it on there straight. Matter usually is kind of wonky anyway, so I'm going to just put it on the, just make sure I put it on crooked. Then when I put it on my layout, I'm going to kind of put one tire on one layer and the other tire on the other, so he's still even more crooked. I cut out two of the tires. Well, you know, I don't think I uh, layered them twice. I did not layer the tires twice. I don't remember doing it anyway. I have extra of these, um, I guess it was they represent the chain uh, for the towing, and that's because I misplaced one, it was laying under something. So I cut it out again, but I will only use one of them. Now the mouth, I think it's cute, and I like it, and I put it on there, and I think, oh, you know, it, it just don't quite look like what I picture his mouth to look like. So I'm going to add a little bit to it since I use brown for the mouth. I am going to add a little bit more of the brown and I'm just going to freehand it. And when I attach it on, I am going to glue it down 
and then uh, trim just a tiny bit more off. I, <laughs> there is like a little spot on here. It's just a little bit rugged after I do this cut right here. And there I go scratching it. And I will scratch it another time or two maybe. And then I'll finally go ahead and use the scissors on it because it does not smooth it out. Normally, if it's tiny enough, it does. But no, it doesn't on this. I, oh, I put that, the top part of the mouth on there and I debated trying to cut it, just holding it in place. Uh, no, I might have to end up cutting the whole thing again. So I will just go ahead and glue it down and cut along the back side of the edge. And I am tilting my scissors so that it will go on the back side. And yeah, here I finally get the scissors and straighten it up, but I'm a lot happier with it. And when I uh, glue it down, I forget about the nose. I'm not even thinking about the nose. Well, technically it probably isn't a nose, but a matter it is. Uh, I would have had just a little bit room, more room for it if I moved that one side of his mouth down just a wee bit. I, I'm adding this one part here, and it, I'm not sure, well, I, it shows it there on the uh, thing, and I did think about using some twine and just kind of have it whipping all around like sometimes it does, but I finally decided to just go ahead and use what's here because <laughs> I got to thinking about my title and how I already had my layout plan. Uh, where is it going to go? So, yeah, I just went ahead and used this. I added a little tiny piece of black foam underneath that hook so that it could pop up just a little bit and look a tiny bit more dimensional. And here's his nose. <laughs> And I'm thinking, man, uh, do I have enough space for this? And I thought, well, if I go ahead and move it up more and add the other piece, because there is a second piece, up there over the windshield a little bit, that uh, I think it'll go ahead and work. And so that's what I'm doing. It, Like I said, it's pretty close to the edge of his mouth, but I think it looks all right. Considering matter looks all, like I said, wonky anyway, it looks like it's going to fall apart any minute but uh yeah i went ahead and added it anyway without trying to pull the mouth up i there is one headlight and then there's one place that isn't so the other side will be brown and i made sure i cut the headlight out of the blue just because it looked more like glass than uh the orange did and Laying it down on there and actually putting it on there where I did, I went ahead and added just a little bit more ink to make it pop just a little more. And I'm adding the other side there, and I can't remember. Oh, I think all that's left is the lights that go on top that I use the eyeballs for. And I am going to add three of them. There is more than three cut, but I only am going to add three. It's because two cut at, out at a time. I'm using my white gel pen and adding highlights to my little guy here. And I like how it turned out. I was debating on using that rusty paper since theirs only had brown. But since I had it, uh, why not go for it? And then, of course, that paper pad has lots of different types of rust that you can choose from. And I like this one because it had the kind of drippy looking rust. And I thought it looked cute on him. And I think I'm about done with my highlights. Yeah, yeah, I am <laughs> done with it. So I am going to start on my layout. I've got my photo there. And isn't it cute? <laughs> it's one of those side of the road shots. <laughs> and, you know, she'll probably get too old for that soon. But while they could get away with it, they took her picture. And her brother didn't participate, apparently. There is no photos of him at the side of the road getting his photo taken with matter. And it was taken uh, portrait style. Oh, my goodness. I'd print it, and there'd only be half of Lexi or half of the uh, truck. And I thought, well, I want to make sure Lexi is there. And enough of the truck that you can tell 
that it's a uh, matter. So I went ahead and put it landscape style, although I really like the flagpole and the flag. Yeah, it kind of missed out. I considered taking a sticker that looked like it fit on there really good and putting it above it. But by the time I got to actually doing the layout, I forgot all about it. So it's not there. It might end up there sometime or another, but it is not there right now. Those uh, Jolie's Boutique stickers there. It had uh, on the photo, there's an uh, eagle up there on the, oh, where the hood ornament would be. And I thought, well, there is an eagle that's just kind of laid around, laid around, laid around. It does not even stick no more, although it's a sticker. So I had to use adhesive underneath it. But I thought about putting it down there beside him for a second there and changed my mind. So I moved it up. Of course, it's way, way too big to be a hood ornament. But at least it's on there to represent the one that's in the photo. And I used my confetti star punch to punch out some stars in all three colors, red, white, and blue. Since that is the theme for the holiday today. So, yeah, well, the holiday was a theme, not, not the red, white, and blue. But uh, I'm uh, doing both hops. And, you know, of course, punched out Thursday. I am using the punches and the dies. And then I am using the theme of uh, Independence Day for, you know, I just now thought, it went through my mind just now. Uh, uh, Scrappy Sisters are hosting this, and they probably don't have an Independence Day. They probably have something else that they celebrate. But this is what we celebrate. So, yeah, I am. Uh, celebrating and the holiday Independence Day. I started to just use that sticker, but because of that other sticker, which is both of them had uh, powder had added to it at one time or another, and the other sticker has foam tape underneath it. So I thought, well, they've been sitting in there and didn't get used. I'm going to use them on this layout too. I couldn't decide exactly where, but I knew I wanted something else on that side of the layout. And I'm adding this hat. I thought it looked really cute up there, which it does. But then I thought, well, the you may not be able to tell it on the video, but I thought the ornament on the bumper, the uh, Jolie's Boutique one, looks so much faded compared to it. And if it's actually going to be on matter... I wanted something that matched, and so I saw a little star on that Jolie's Boutique thing and put that on his nose. But uh, that's it. That's my layout. And I want to thank you all so very, very much for joining me while I created it. And I hope you decide to go ahead and join some of the links down there below while the people... <laughs> That's all those links down there below and see what they created either for Punched Out Thursday to die for or for the Scrap Timber, which is going on all month, by the way. But I hope y'all have a happy scrapping week. Have fun on the hops and get lots of inspiration and because there is plenty, especially with that uh, playlist link down there. But yeah. It was a lot of fun to create, and that little die set is adorable and not bad to put together at all. Matter was always my favorite on cars. And believe me, with grandkids, I have watched it a lot. But have fun. Bye.